Today, I've got some new stuff from Three Legged Thing. We have two new tripods and a new bull head. Here, I can introduce you to Ray and Bucky. And on both of these legs, we have the new bull head, which is the air head view. Now, these are pretty impressive little tripods. They've got some quite cool design features, which I'll go through with you. Now, in terms of load capacity, it's the same on both of these tripods. They can take up to 30 kilograms. Three zero, 30 kilograms. I am not testing that. Um, I think personally it's insane to put a payload that heavy um, on tripods uh, unless they've got about eight sections and stick out huge but apparently they can take that which means I've got no problem at all putting some standard kit on like I've got the R5 here with a 15 to 35mm lens that's about two kilograms it feels so so sturdy even on the littler tripod which is great news. Now how high can they go? So they both fold down pretty small, which is nice. And that's thanks to the sectioning. So on the legs, both tripods have five section legs. And on the center columns, on the Ray, we've got two sections. And on the Bucky, we have three. Now the Ray can get up to 138.3 centimeters with the airhead view ball head attached. And the same with the Bucky, we can get up to 189.2 centimeters. So they go pretty high. In fact, I'll show you with this one, if I can reach. I mean, I'd have, I'd have to attach the camera first, um, but they can go pretty high, which is really nice, makes them nice and versatile. They also have on the columns, on the locks, we have these nice little O pads. Now they're really easy to grip. And I think even if you've got gloves on, it's gonna be nice and easy to adjust these tripods. You're not gonna have any issues. Also, when you're undoing the legs and you've got sort of all of those locks in a row, you can do them all in one go, nice and easily. You don't need to be twisting them for years on end. Now the Ray is obviously more travel friendly. It's clearly smaller and it weighs 1.27 kilograms. Now that isn't the lightest for a tripod. I think the Bucky's about 1.6 kilos but they are made out of eight layers of 100% carbon fiber around a magnesium alloy shell. So they're nice and tough, nice and strong. Oh yeah, didn't knock the Canon R5 over. That's always good. So this is the bag for the Ray. As you can see, it's nice and diddy, really small. We've got clips here so you can put a strap on it so you can wear it on your shoulder or cross body. And you've also got a nice little handle. Personal favorite thing for me, on the side, we have this little pocket. Now in there, you can keep the strap for the bag, or you can keep maybe a quick release plate, which are Arca Swiss compatible, by the way. They also come with this, which I think should be with every tripod ever, which is for the quick release plate. It's got a little Allen key on there. It's got a little flat head as well. The amount of rings and keys I have ruined doing up quick release plates. So it's really nice that comes with and it's got a little keychain attachment and a carabiner or a biner which you can put onto your tripod or your bag as well. So I think that's a nice little thing that shows three-legged thing are thinking about the portability of these tripods. The head itself has some really nice features too. Just straight off the bat you can see that we've got two different colors so you can design whatever tripod kit you want. They've also got color-coded knobs. So the ones that, oh God, it's only the Canon R5, don't worry about it. The ones that move the ball head are black and also the one that pans. And the one that does the quick release plate is orange here. So you don't get confused and drop your camera when you undo them. It's working well so far. Also the ball head itself, if I pan it round to you, you can see here, it actually has a little viewing panel, which is really, really cool. Now. I mean, I can't see any practical reason for this, to be honest, but it's just nice to see. So when you loosen up your ball head, you can see inside and as you tighten it up, you can see all the ball bearings do their stuff. <sighs> I mean, absolutely no reason for that, is there really? It's just fun, bit of fun, looks nice and cool. That's a lot of the thing with three-legged things. I mean, they're called Ray and Bucky. You know, it's not all about practicality with these tripods at all. Although much easier to remember than, you know, GSX 425701.2 underscore seven. So it is actually quite nice as a reviewer to be able to remember the names of the products that you're reviewing. Now, the tripods are available. So if you wanna make a pre-order, you can go onto the store page now, and there's also loads more information about them on there. So make sure to check that out. Put a link in the description. 
If you want to find out more though, if you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or of course you can put a comment here and I will try my best to get back to you with all the information that you could need. We will have more coming out with the latest photo and video equipment, especially with some of the new exciting cameras that are around at the moment, like the Canon R5 and the Sony a7S III. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. But for now, thanks for watching.